everybody so in today's short video we're going to be looking at the parallel park or reverse park now I'm going to be showing you my method um, I'd like to think my method is pretty simple because lots of people worry about this maneuver and they feel it's too complicated etc but using my method hopefully you'll agree it's very simple so we're going to be using the black Audi in front that's going to be the target vehicle we're going to the objective today is to end up in this position having parked this side of it so in front of it if you like so first thing to do I'm going to move off from the side of the road so carry out a full 360 check as I'm moving off check the blind spot again on the right and the aim is to get alongside this vehicle about a metre from it give or take straighten up my steering wheel again finishing just past the back of the Audi I'm going to select reverse gear and again make sure it's safe to carry out the manoeuvre check all around now the first thing we're going to do is just head back in a straight line nice and steady using the clutch to keep the control now as soon as we're past in this case the front of this Audi with the back of our car I'm going to put a three-quarter turn on the steering wheel to the left the left is where the curb is no more no less now as you can see the front of the car is swinging out as it does I'm checking over the right shoulder to minimize risk and make sure there's no cyclists coming up the side of the car now at any point now I'm going to straighten up the wheel again to the right so far so good nice and simple notice the speed of the car really slow really controlled keep your observations around nice and high now as we get nearer the curb I'm going to use this left door mirror as we get nearer all I'm going to do is turn to the right which pivots the front end in hopefully leaving us right by the curb so I've steered about just over half a turn and that's probably going to be enough we're almost parallel with the curb again now so straighten up the wheel again and stop secure the car handbrake neutral and that's it all right so things that are important on this maneuver are obviously the control of the vehicle so clutch control covering the brake where necessary effective observations so use the mirror by all means but don't just stare in the mirror referring to the driving test briefly if the examiner sees you just staring in the mirror looking at where the curb is and not looking over here it could result in a fail the third thing obviously important is the accuracy of the maneuver now they're not looking for you to be like a matchbox width from the curb a steering wheel's width is reasonable for the driving test in reality yeah you want to park as near as you can really but I wouldn't recommend parking right against the curbstone you'll pick up all the nails all the bits of glass etc not good for the tires so let me show you this maneuver again so again select first gear handbrake off check all the way around finishing on my right with the blind spot nice and steady up to the side of this car finishing parallel with it just past it the reason we stop just past it really is just so you can get your the speed in reverse get your good clutch control in place select reverse again check around make sure it's safe to start the maneuver and we go backwards just in a straight line again as soon as we passed the front in this case of the Audi I'm going to turn the wheel three quarters left now this just sets enough swing out you don't need full lock you don't really need a whole turn in my opinion three quarters is enough again at any point now I can straighten up the wheel again and all we're doing is coming back in a shallow angle towards the curb 
nice and simple. Keep the speed down, keep your observations going. We're approaching the curve, I can see it in the mirror. So again, I'm just gonna to turn to the right. Nice and steady. Just past halfway. As soon as we're parallel with the curve again, straighten up the wheel. Quick check around and clutch down, gently brake, handbrake on, into neutral, finished. All right, now, you might be thinking, okay, where's the reference points? How do I know when to turn? Personally, I don't like reference points because that vehicle could be anything. It could be an ambulance, tractor, lorry, van, anything. And if you start using too many reference points, you're not gonna be able to do it in reality. So, in my opinion, use some simple techniques. Use the door mirror. Judge when you're past in reverse, in this case the front of that vehicle, so that you don't turn into it, you turn past it. All right, last time for showing you. So again, select first gear, check around, move off. Back to the side of the vehicle. Stopping just past it, select reverse, steering wheel nice and straight so my wheels are straight, check around, reverse back in a straight line, nice and steady. If you get the speed right, the manoeuvre is easy, I promise you. Just past the front of that again, so again, three quarters of a turn, front end swings out, right shoulder check, no cyclist, straighten up again. Shallow angle towards the kerb. Keep the speed down, nice and steady. Approaching the kerb, I can see it in the mirror. Turn to the right. Almost parallel again with the kerb. Now, straighten up. Quick check around again. Clutch down, gently brake. Easy, right? <laughs> There we go, so, okay, you might also think, what about if we want to park nearer, because in a town situation, you know, there's probably not going to be this much gap. Well, instead of a three-quarter turn, you could do a full turn, which makes the start of the vehicle, the front of the vehicle rather, a lot steeper on the turn, in which case, when you start steering the other way, you'll pivot in much nearer to that vehicle, but, for ease of uh, showing you this, I guess, this is a very, very simple method. There's not much to remember. Um, if you've got any questions about this manoeuvre, feel free to add a comment at the bottom of the video. Um, but there we are, guys. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, guys.